This is it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, very beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> mm, I love you. Love you too. <laughs> You're so beautiful. <laughs> One of the things I didn't really talk about in the speech is your spiritual connection to Matthew. And uh, Matthew's a lucky guy. He's a truly a lucky guy. He's so lucky that God sent him to that church to meet you because he's got an angel. He's got a pure angel coming to him today. I'm so proud of you. I have no idea how I'm getting to the speech tonight. <laughs> you look amazing. Thank you. <laughs> Love you so much. We should Thank get inside you. before you start melting. Yeah. Um, one thing that I've been thinking about a lot this week, I have um, this memory that's been like kind of persisting through my mind of like, I was like seven or eight years old and I was like putting on one of my dance costumes yeah. and we were in our old house and we were like pretending like I was going to get married. Oh yeah. And I remember you saying to me, uh, I hope one day you remember this on your wedding day and yeah. then we'll do it for real. And That's awesome. So. I'm glad you remember that. Yeah, I did. So. Awesome. You look pretty. Thank you. <laughs> love you. I love you too. I need to fix my makeup up. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. Mm, yay. <laughs> Hey. Hi. I'm not, my eyes are closed. <laughs> Dear God, I just want to thank you for this day. This what is going to be the best day of Peyton and I's lives so far. And just bringing us here and bringing all these loving friends and family here. Just showing you and what Peyton and I believe is true, which is what you're which is your word to all these people. Uh, Lord, I just pray for Peyton and I as we start this journey together that in a few hours we'll be husband and wife and become one under you and your kingdom, living for your kingdom. And I just pray that every single day we can grow together to push each other to further your kingdom. I just thank you so much for giving me this woman. Lord, I never thought things could make so much sense. That when you know you know people always say that but i'm just so thankful that that's true for me and that i've never had a single day of doubt with Peyton. god everything is coming together so well and we can just see your work in it and i just pray that this wedding day is just a just symbol of the wedding day that we we're going to have in heaven if you want to do god thank you so much that you brought us here together and that you um it's been so clear to us that this is where you want us to be and that we should be together. Um, I thank you for the person that you've made Matthew to be and that you've called him and that you've called us into this relationship uh, with you. We love you so much, Lord. Thank you for everything. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Uh, I love you. Are you ready? <laughs> start. Yeah.
Peyton. I told you when I proposed to you that from the moment I met you, I knew you were special. I wasn't planning our wedding after their date number one, but I knew you were special. The way you light up a room when you walk in is unbelievable because of who you are in the inside and the outside. Your love for Jesus is amazing. I love that you make it so easy for me to point you towards Jesus because you strive for that on your own every single day. I promise to always be your best friend through thick and thin. I promise to always be the person you can run to on your best days and on your worst days. I promise to pursue the Lord with you every single day and to love you like Christ loves his church. I promise to love you forever. I can't wait to spend the rest of my life with you. I love you. Matthew Aaron Clippert, you are the love of my life, my very best friend, and everything I could have prayed for in a husband and more. I cannot believe the day that we so highly anticipated and devotedly prayed for is finally here. When I first began praying for the qualities that I desired in a husband, I prayed that he would be humble, servant-hearted, kind and adventurous, but most importantly, a devoted man of God. And while I did pray these prayers expectantly, I thought that I may be asking God for too much. However, aside from the sweet gift of salvation, you are the most evident expression of God's faithfulness to me. I knew that line was gonna get me. <laughs> Without a doubt, you're the one that God has been preparing for me for the near 22 years of my life. As your wife, I vow these things to you, which I can only fulfill by the grace of God. I vow to choose to love you and to always make my love known to you. From the big things to the little things, I vow to show you my love and devotion each and every day through acts of love and service, putting your needs before my own. I vow to be your biggest encourager, supporter, your helper, and your best friend. I vow that to all others, I will lift you up in word, and to the Lord, I will lift you up in prayer. I vow to seek the Lord for fulfillment and satisfaction, and I vow to never expect you to complete me. I vow to love you for your strengths and your faults, to be patient with you, and to let grace abound, forgiving, as the Lord said, not a measurement of seven times, but 70 times seven. I vow to be wholeheartedly faithful to you, to respect you, to trust you, to honor you, and to submit to your leadership, bringing glory to God as a symbol of the love and relationship between Christ and his church. I promise to never stop dating you and to keep our lives exciting and joy-filled, full of love and laughter, and to choose our marriage, to choose you, and to choose us forever. I love you so much. Do you, Matthew, take Peyton to be your wedded wife? I do. All right, do you, Peyton, take Matthew to be your wedded husband? I do. It is my privilege and joy before God and these witnesses to announce that you guys are husband and wife. You can kiss your bride. Matthew, when you asked Chris and I for permission to marry our daughter, it was one of our happiest days of our lives because I knew how deeply passionate Peyton was in expressing her love for you and in getting to know you, that you were the right person for Peyton. Peyton loves you with all her heart. She loves you with all her soul. Peyton is a very caring, spiritually filled soul. She shows her love in God in all that she does. And I knew that the day she was born, that she would follow Christ because she was like an angel in my arms. 
Peyton, your mom and I love you very much. We're proud of all of you have accomplished and all that you're going to be. We love you both and wish you nothing but the best.